Okay, we're going to start surface area now. We'll do surface area of prisms for today, and next day we'll do surface area of cylinders. And then I think the third day we'll do tough ones. We'll do the uh, composite shapes. It's really hard, actually. All right, so I'm going to start us off, and then I'm going to switch over to the old video. It's going to look quite a bit different, the old video, but I assure you the questions are exactly the same. So what I'm going to start with is an explanation of the difference between area and surface area. Maybe I'll talk about volume too. So we've done area and volume, right? First we did area. Do you remember what it is? Area is the amount of cover of a two-dimensional object. So I know I talked about this before, but I'll just quickly mention it again. If I was to draw this square here, or this rectangle, I guess, right? I can move it all around, and no matter where I move it, it covers the same amount of my screen. How much cover it has is the area of that blue rectangle there. And then remember, the way we found the area of this is we'd multiply the length times the width, and that would give us area. Okay, we also talked about volume. Volume was for three-dimensional shapes, right? So let's take a look at this shape down here. If I want to know the volume of this, it's like how much space does it take up in the world? How much water could you fill it up with? Like that. So today what we're going to look at is surface area. This is also for three-dimensional objects. So we are talking about area, but we're talking about three-dimensional objects. How could that be? How could we talk about the area of this when it's three-dimensional? Well, this object has a bunch of different faces on it, right? If you think of this like a dice, how many sides does a dice or a die, you should actually call it a die if there's only one, how many sides or faces does a die have? Six. So it has six faces. And the way you would find surface area of this is you'd find the total area of all the faces in the three-dimensional object. So let's start doing this one right now. Here's how I do this question. I ask myself, first of all, how many faces? How many faces are there that are the same size of each other? Well, okay, let's start with how many faces. Let's do it that way. How many faces does it have? Well, it has one at the front here. It has one at the back. It has one on the right. It has one on the left. It has one on the top. It has one on the bottom. It has six faces. hope that makes sense. I mean, you can think of it like a dice, a die, right? Uh, how many faces does a die have? Hey, we did that during probability. It has six. So we know it has six faces. Now, my second question for you. How many of them are the same as each other, have the same size? Well, in a cube, which this is, this is supposed to be a cube here, they're all the same. So we have six faces, all the same. Okay, well, if we want to get the total area, can you think of what the strategy could be? How about we get the area of one face? Uh, I don't know, I'll get the area of the front. And once I have the area of the front, since I want to get the area of all the faces, and there's six of them, and they all have the same area. What am I going to do with my answer here when I get the area of the front? You're going to multiply by 6, aren't you? All right, so let me explain it again. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the area of this face here right at the front of the cube. We want the area of that. That's a square. You know what the formula is for the area of a square? Well, there's actually two formulas you could use. Most of you will probably use length times width. That's what I use too. If you're really fancy about it, you could also use side squared, remember. But let's just use length and width. All right, so we need two dimensions. We got the length here, which is three, and we need this amount here. We don't know it, do we? Of course we do. It's a cube. What do you know about all of these? They're all three feet, three feet, three feet, three feet, three feet. Everything is three feet here. So if we want to get the area of this purple face here, it's three times three. Oh, not bad at all. Three times three. The area of the front is nine. Now, we want to get the surface area, though. So if this face, the purple one, has an area of 9, and there's six faces that all are exactly the same size, we just take our 9 and multiply it by six faces. I'll put six faces here, because they're all the same. And you get 54. So you get 54 feet. OK, now, what, what should I put here? Is it going to be squared? Is it going to be cubed? Is it going to be the fourth? No, it's not going to be the fourth. We don't have any fourth dimension shapes on this planet, in this universe, even. Uh, it's area. That's your giveaway. We're talking about surface area. And remember, area was always squared. So that is our answer, 54 feet squared. OK, let's do rectangular prism. How many faces does this have? This shape right here has how many faces? Well, in some ways, it's very similar to a cube, isn't it? It has a front, a back, a top, a bottom, a left, a right. It has six faces. Now, which ones are the same? Okay, well, let's take a look at the front here. 
which one's for sure going to be the same as the front? The one on the back. So we've got front and back the same. I mean, you don't have to write all this out for me when you're doing yours. I just want to make sure you understand it. Now, what people often do is they look at the top and they're like, yeah, it's the same too. Now, is it though? You got to be careful. I know it looks the same, but you got to be careful. What are the dimensions of the red one? The red one is 10 times 4. Okay, let's look at the top. What are the dimensions of this one here? Dimensions of this are 10 by 3. They're not the same. Okay, so we have uh, the ones that are the same are the front and the back. The top is different, but the top is obviously the same as the bottom. And then the left and right are obviously different than the other ones. So we also have left and right. Now, they are all rectangles. So for each one of these, what you want to do is length times width. Okay, the area of the front. Area of the front. We just said it's length times width. And we also mentioned already, what are the dimensions of that rectangle? 10 times 4. So it's 10 times 4, which is 40. Now, that's just the front. Don't forget, there's also the back. So how many faces are that have the same? There's two of them. So we're actually going to take our 40 and multiply it by 2, and we get 80. That 2 is because there's two faces that are exactly the same size as each other, the front and the back. Okay? Let's do the top bottom. So again, the area, I'll do the top. Length times width, because it's a rectangle. What are the dimensions? I think we already mentioned that too. This is 10, and this is 3. So we're going to go 10 times 3, which gives us 30. Are there any other faces the same? Yeah, we said top and bottom were the same, so we have to multiply that by 2 as well. We get 60. Left and right. Let's do the area of the right. So that's over here. So what are the dimensions? Well, this is 3. How much is this? Whoops, how much is this right here? Well, it's exactly the same as this over here. It's 4. So we got our 3 and we got our 4. So, sorry, it's length times width, of course. It's a rectangle. So it's 3 times 4, so it's 12. That was just for the right-hand side. Don't forget the left. It's exactly the same. We've got to multiply by 2. You get 24. Um, okay, so to get the total surface area, what do we do? We take all our faces, these two, these two, and these two, and we add them up. So 80 plus 60 plus 24. And if you do that, you get 164. We're talking about inches, so it's going to be inches squared. So the first thing we need to figure out is how many faces does this have? Uh, okay, sorry this is all lagging. Uh, we have the bottom face. We have two rectangles beside it, one here and one there, and then the two triangles. So one, two, three, four, five. There's five faces. Now are any of them the same as each other? Uh, okay, well obviously the two triangles. So we have same two triangles. This is really annoying. Uh, we have the bottom. Is the bottom the same as the other rectangles? Uh, I think it is supposed to be an isosceles triangle, which means that this and this are the same. So when it says 7 there, this is also 7 here. Uh, okay, so if we look at the bottom, the bottom is 4 by 12. And if you look at the the, the face on the side here, it's 7 by 12, as is that one there. So you have two triangle, or two rectangles the same, but then you have the one bottom one, the one bottom rectangle, is not the same. So I've spaced these out again. So let's start with uh, this triangle right here. So remember what the area is of a triangle? It's base times height divided by 2. Okay, what's the base of the triangle? The base is 4. What's the height? It's not 7. It has to be from the top straight down. Where's that? That's over here. It's the 6. So our area is equal to 4 times 6 divided by 2. Now, if you think about it here, what you're going to do is you're going to get this answer, and then you're going to multiply it by 2. So you could actually cancel those 2's out. But I find this always gets people into big trouble. So I'm not going to do that this year. I'm actually going to get this answer. I go four times base times height divided by 2, 4 times 6 divided by 2, so that's 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now that's one triangle. How many triangles do we actually have? We have another one down here as well, right? So we have 2. We better multiply by 2 and get 24. Okay, let's do the two uh, 
rectangles that are equal to each other. So that's that one and the one on the left back here. So that is a rectangle, which is length times width. What are the dimensions? 12 here, 7 there. So we have 12 times 7, which is 84. But wait a minute, we have two of them. We got to multiply by 2, we get 168. And then finally we have the bottom. So this rectangle here, it's a rectangle, so it's going to be length times width. And what are the dimensions? 4 this way, 12 that way. So equals 4 times 12, or 48. Multiply it by 2? Absolutely not. Look at there's only one of those. Don't be multiplying by 2 automatically. you got to think about it. So now we have our three um, amounts that we can add together to get our surface area. The total surface area is equal to 24 plus 168 plus 48. And of course, we all know that is 240. And we're looking at centimeters here. So we're done. If you understand, skip to the end and get the assignment. Otherwise, I'm going to do one more. So it's a triangular prism. How many faces does every triangular prism have? Two triangles and three rectangles. So which ones are the same? We have two triangles. And then we have uh, a rectangle on the bottom. So I've got the bottom rectangle. Is that the same as any of the other ones? The bottom one's 4 by 11. How much is this top one here? Not 4 by 11, it's 5 by 11. How about the rectangle down here? That's 3 by 11 or something. So no, none of them are equal. So we have to get the bottom tri uh, rectangle, we have to get the top rectangle, and we have to get the, I guess, left rectangle. Okay, let's do this. So uh, area of a triangle, base times height divided by 2. This triangle right here, what's the base? 4. What's the height? 3. So we're going 4 times 3 divided by 2. I know we're going to multiply by 2 and cancel the 2's, but I'm actually going to do it this year. 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. But remember, there's two triangles, there's one back here, so we multiply it by 2 and get 12. Okay, let's get the bottom rectangle, this one right here. A rectangle is length times width. So the dimensions of this one are 4 by 11, and 4 times 11 is 44. Multiply by 2? No. Remember, all the rectangles are different, so that's all you can do for that one. Now we're doing the top. We're doing this one, here and here. So the dimensions are 11 and 5. So area is length times width, because it's a rectangle. We're going to multiply, we said 11 and 5, which gives us 55. Do not multiply by 2, it's the only one. And finally, on the left, I'm going to erase all this so we can see it a little bit better. The one I'm talking about now is this one here. It's a rectangle, so it's going to be a length times width. What are the dimensions? 3 by 11 again, right? Same as this. So 3 times 11, which is 33. Don't multiply by 2, there's only one of them. Okay, we add this, we add this, we add this, we add this, and we'll have our total surface area. So 12 plus 44 plus 55 plus 33 equals 144 centimeters squared. Okay, so that's surface area. Uh, we'll continue on with this next day, and we'll do cylinders. Have a good day, everyone. See ya.